Hey YouTube, BabyJace here, and I'm back again with a, uh, another UI video. This time the UI has been updated for Legion, everything seems to be going well. I like it, um, everything's updated, so yeah, let's just uh, jump right into it. A lot of you have been asking me a lot for this uh, UI, and uh, finally it should have this updated for you. Uh, it just only took a lot of people asking me. So for this UI to work, you are going to need a few uh, add-ons. You're going to need LVI, that's probably the most important thing you're going to need. Um, and you're also going to need Skullflowers UI. Now I have a link in the description to a Dropbox file which contains Skullflower UI. If you do not grab this, you cannot use my string for LVI. It will not work. You need Skullflower UI. If you try to do it without Skullflower UI, you're going to get an error and it's just not going to work. Okay, so. Pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to do forward slash EC for the LVI part. You're going to go down to profiles and in the description there's going to be a paste bin for my LVI uh, string. And all you're going to do is you're going to do import profile and you're just going to paste the string right into this box and hit import now. And that will import the string in. If for any reason it is not showing up or it's not defaulting to that, you just click on here existing profiles and you're going to find Jace DK. That is what I've named my profile. Um, ignore any of this other stuff, if somehow that gets in, I doubt it, but just Jace DK, that is the profile name. And all you got to do is import that profile and it should be good, good to go. Um, you might have to edit these windows here to make your chat windows the way you want them and the loot window the way you want it, but other than that, the nameplates, everything should be positioned the way they are on my screen now. All these should be positioned the way they are now. Um, I'd be surprised if they weren't. But let me know in the comments if you're having any problems. Next add-on is M runes. For M runes, I like to, I like this for 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 runes. A lot of people seem to like compact runes. I just like the style. Really, runes are just completely up to you. Whatever style you prefer, that just go with that. I mean, it doesn't matter. Now, for cooldowns, I have this off because I can't stand having cooldowns tracked with M runes. I prefer Tell Me When. And then for runes enabled, um, I just have the positioning set here. Negative 1 for X, negative 177 for Y. That's the position that you're going to get for it to be right here. And then you can, you know, height with all, these in all this information, colors. I have it using default, which is standard, but I'm pretty sure I can uncheck it and it'll be green for unholy, blue for frost, and red for blood. I mean, either way, I, I kind of go back and forth between this a lot. It, it really doesn't matter. Runic power, enable that as well. Use these settings. This is the settings I use for my runic power. Um, runic power colors, default, really. I kind of like that. Um, there's some errors with the add-on, so I just set the alpha to 1, 1, 1, because uh, sometimes getting into combat, it wouldn't set the alpha to 1. It would still be kind of faded and really hard to see. Um, font is should be automatically defaulted here. It's like the basic fault, but if you don't know, it's ACCID, ac ACID, ACID, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, timers, and disabled. I don't use timers for, um, for this. Okay, next add-on you need to set up is Tell Me When. Once you've downloaded that, do forward slash TMW and your Tell Me When should enable. Again, there's a string in the um, in the paste bin. I have a paste bin that's going to be labeled Tell Me When strings, Weak Gore strings, uh, LVI profile strings, all that stuff is going to be there. So all you need to do is copy, uh, copy it from the paste bin and you're going to paste it in this small little box right here. Just copy paste and it's going to say import, export, restore. And you're going to do import from string, and it's going to say profile baby J's, and you're going to copy profile overwrite baby J's Mac Theridan. Just do that, and this is how you will get my tell me when strings. And these tell me when strings should be set up for frost, unholy, and blood. The next thing you need is weak auras. Uh, same deal with weak auras. If you've ever worked with weak auras, I use pretty much only two weak auras. I uh, three weak auras. I use three of them. Uh, four, actually. Wow, I'm pretty bad at this. I'll have a weak or up that will be for, where is it, for when buffs uh, on use items, so like Pillar of Frost, um, Bloodlust is there, you know, Orc Racial is there, um, Scabbard of Kyanos is there, Potion is there, AMS is there, 
you're probably gonna have to go through this and update specifically like potion for whatever potion you end up do using in uh, Legion. Just change draining strength potion to like whatever. Um, do that for pretty much um, any like specific things. So like this is you know scabbard of Kynos. Obviously change this to any on use trinket you would be using in Legion. Um, so that's buff procs. To get that, all you need to do is hit new at the top, import, and import the string. It's really easy. So yeah, go ahead and do that. And then this one, oh, that's the same one. This one is like stuff that procs, so trinkets that procs. So I have like hungering blows, I have the skull of war, you know. Change the, uh, you could change the names of this, because I, I kind of stopped changing the names on a lot of things. So maybe you might want to change the names to actually what they correspond to. Um, maybe I did actually. I think I might have actually done a pretty good job of changing all the names to what they're supposed to be. Yeah, maybe I did. Nice. But yeah, just go ahead and you know change the name, change the you know whatever trinket or proc you're you're tracking. Like I would proc like the frost strike and the obliterate um, proc that you get from the four set or the two set, whatever it is. Um, you know trinkets, the ring procs from when I'm doing like time walking, unholy strength, you know stuff like that. Just go ahead and change it to whatever you need it to be. And those are the two, these are the two main weak cores I use. Another weak core I do use is D&D. Causes this little spinning D&D thing to appear when you are standing in Death and Decay. If you are not standing in Death and Decay, it won't be there. But that's just to let you know that you are standing in it um, because Death and Decay, you need, it. you need it to cleave with Scourge Strike. So there's that. And the last week where I use is the Valkyr. It basically just lets you know the time remaining on it and the percentage of damage that you have applied to it. This won't be too big of a deal because you really pretty much don't use Valkyr in Legion, but in case you want that, that will also be in the paste bin. Let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, this up here in the upper right is Quick Talents. So just go ahead and grab that add-on if you so choose. Um, this timer thing is just from Exorcist Raid Tools. Go ahead and grab that. I use big wigs, but I mean, you you can use big wigs, you can use DBM, whatever you want, doesn't matter. Um, set it however you want. That's not like too big of a deal. This DPS tracker is called Details. Um, it's not SCADA, it's not Recount, it's Details. I like it, it's really nice. It is CPU intensive. Pretty sure it's CPU intensive, so maybe if you don't have the best CPU, you might not be able to use it, but I love it. Um, I'm able to like go in here and see stuff like damage, healing, resources, uh, you know, I don't know why you would need resources to be able to say all that, but like deaths, cooldowns, buff up time, debuff up time, uh, interrupts, CC breaks, res, you know, just stuff like that. That's, I like it. It's really nice. The last thing you need to do is I use something called Omni CC for the numbers on my abilities. So like... Right here, see how I have uh, counting down 30 seconds? And I, I like the color blue. It fades to red at five seconds left, but I really like the color blue. So what I've done here is under a minute left, I've used this code 00FFF2. Go ahead and put that in for the code and that'll, that'll make your uh, things blue for anything under a minute. And as you'll see here, it'll turn red when it's five seconds or less. Um, I like it. You don't have to do that. It's totally up to you, but I do use Omni CC. I do not use the LVI default, uh, you know, cooldown tracker or, you know, like how much time is remaining. See, I'm not in the D&D. Now I'm in the D&D and showing up. No, I'm not. So, I like that. But yeah, that's pretty much my UI. If you have any questions, go ahead and let me know. I swear to God I covered everything, but I'm certain I forgot something. But pretty much details. Um, you need LUI, you need Skullflower UI, Tell Me When, M Runes, uh, Weak Auras, and Omni CC. Those are like the main things you need. Outside of that, you shouldn't need it. Whatever else you want to customize your UI, go for it. But this is what I, this is what you need for my UI. So with that, I hope uh, you've got the UI up and running and to your liking. Uh, if you'd like, if you enjoyed the video, if it helps you, go ahead and uh, subscribe, leave a comment, you know, upvote it or, you know, like it or whatever it's called. I think it's like, whatever. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I have for you today. Um, go ahead and leave a comment if you need help with anything. I'm pretty fast on responding. And uh, other than that, have a good day.